The Making of the World's Best Wing, Johnny May's Amazing Rise. Johnny May is England's man of the moment. His hat trick in the 4486 Nations route of France at Twickenham last Sunday maintained his extraordinary purple patch. In his last 13 tests, the 28 year old Leicester man has scored an impressive 12 tries. Here, Sports Mail speaks to people who have worked with him throughout his career about his unique, often erratic, talent, his grubber kicking and the chicken demon. Coached May at Hartbury College in Gloucester, when Johnny came to us at 18, he had a lot of raw talent. He was big, quick, had the ability to handle the ball and in one final against Clifton he scored a hat trick. I remember one try he scored from halfway, he was very quick and deceiving. We never encouraged them to kick, so when I saw him put in that kick for Henry Slade against Ireland, I realized the work that had gone into it. Johnny couldn't kick left-footed when he was at Hartbury. People don't realize the work that goes into being able to do that. It is like his ability under the high ball. We were never under that pressure at Hartbury, where the kicking was pinpoint and you had to go up for it. Invariably the kicking was long and you could counter it ag. He wasn't a bin pole or skinny back then, he was quite muscular, but obviously he's put on weight now. He was always strong in defense and attack, he was a big, strong lad, quick and dynamic. He had a weights and strength and conditioning program to follow, which he did religiously, and also he spent a lot of time on skills. Johnny was also quite a character. Sometimes he lacked a bit of concentration. But there were never any disciplinary problems, he was always a good student. Gloucester head coach when May started career in 2009, when Johnny came through he was quick, had very good footwork and was very raw, but he had some great people to learn from at the club, like James Simpson Daniel, Ian Balshaw, Leslie Vanicolo and Ollie Morgan. We played him in three different positions, at full back and 13-2, not just on the wing. You just wanted him on that kick return. He could be erratic, but he could win new a game. You'd have to be on at him to be careful about when he did certain things, but then you'd watch him and think, there aren't many people who've got the footwork to do the things he can do. You can't have your cake and eat it. I believed that what you got out of him would override the mistakes he might make. What he has done in the last few years, after coming back from his ACL injury, just shows his desire and his work ethic. Other people have also realized how to make use of Johnny's pace. They are kicking a lot in behind defenses because he does chase lost causes. He can always beat defenders on the edge and he has also adapted his game to put in kicks of his own. He is more mature now, but also he is under less pressure in a way because the coaches have stuck with him and he knows they trust him. Johnny is now managing to play a high percentage game more consistently and is creating problems for other teams. Ex-England head coach who gave May a test debut in 2013, there's always been a slight misconception about Johnny. People assume he is not that diligent or prepared off the field, but it's the opposite. He is quite a character and that would give the impression that he isn't a student of the game, but he is. He's a fantastic athlete and puts a lot of time into realizing his athletic potential, by working with sprint coaches and so on. Once he broke into the England team, he was very hard for other players to dislodge because of his consistency. He was a bit unorthodox, but never a liability. He was good at the basics, a good defender, good in the air and good on kick chase. His game understanding has improved. When I was England coach, he would spend hours with the backs coaches, Andy Farrell and Mike Cat, talking about the game and I assume he is the same now with John Mitchell, Eddie Jones and Scott Wisemindle. He has developed his understanding of where space is in the backfield and his ability to exploit that space. He has also improved his ability in the air, which is down to a lot of hard work, but his form is also a byproduct of how England are playing. If wingers are involved in a team that has a lack of clarity, it can make them look worse than they are, but England have real clarity in how they are playing and Johnny has benefited from that. Ex-England defense coach, Johnny is very dedicated and has actually got faster after recovering from a horrendous knee injury. He is frighteningly quick, as well as being delightfully weird, 
in the nicest possible sense. He's a really good guy. I have a lot of time for him. He is an athlete in the truest sense of the word, he devotes a lot of time to the management of his own body. He took care to strengthen the area around his knee after the injury. He also takes a lot of time stretching. Of course he has pace to burn, but he's also tenacious and very dedicated. He has worked hard at his game defensively, his backfield cover and his alignment with his outside center. With ball in hand sometimes he doesn't know what he's going to do but he can put the afterburners on and roast anybody. When teams like France leave all that backfield space there is no one better to exploit that. I am delighted he has had the opportunities he has had. He was a very consistent performer when I was coaching England and is a wonderful kid. Weird, but wonderful. England teammate, Johnny has become the complete player, when maybe before he was known as an absolute speedster. He has worked really hard on his kicking game, catching, chasing. In the last year or so, after training, he takes himself away to practice little grubbers down the line on his own. He is a right footer but you can't tell which is his dominant foot because he practices it so much on his left as well. He is incredibly diligent with his recovery. He is always stretching. He spends half an hour to an hour stretching, he always has his recovery gear on, is in the ice baths, making sure he feels good after training or making sure he can perform the next day. Johnny is, in the nicest possible way, very strange. A few years back, he used to think he was possessed by a chicken. He used to go around clucking and thought this chicken demon was inside him. I don't know whether it was an act or true, with Johnny you just never know. He is also very competitive. He loves winning. He wants to be the fastest and always checks to see if he has the fastest times when they give the GPS scores out after training. He has learned an awful lot by spending time with George Ford and Owen Farrell, so that he understands what an O-10 is looking for, and he is up there with the best wings in the world now.